Patsy Westbrook breaks her silence about everything that went down during Dramageddon. We'll tell you what she said and how Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star have responded to the accusations that they orchestrated the whole thing. I'm Kelsey Banis and you're watching The Daily Report. Buckle up, get ready, this is gonna be a long one. Happy Wednesday. On Monday, we reported that the Dramageddon file was opened again when a beauty YouTuber and former Jeffree Star Cosmetics model, Cameron Lester, made a video announcing he was cutting ties with Jeffree Star. In the video, he talks about overhearing a FaceTime call between Jeffree and Shane Dawson in which Shane is just going off about James Charles. This news prompted fans to speculate that maybe Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson were the ones who orchestrated the takedown of James by manipulating Tati Westbrook to make her now infamous Bye Sister video. Well, yesterday, Tati released a video called Breaking My Silence, and she confirms that that's exactly what happened. Interesting timing. Anybody else think that? In the 40-minute video, and you bet I watched all 40 minutes, Tati read a statement detailing all of the events that led up to her posting that video, and Shane and Jeffrey played a heavy role in it. She claims that the two were, quote, bitterly jealous of James's success and how quickly he became popular, and as a result, used her as a weapon to bring down the rival. So according to Tati, James is all Jeffrey could talk about in 2019. After her birthday, the one she detailed in the Bye Sister video where James was openly flirting with waiters, Jeffrey called Tati to apologize on behalf of James. From then on, Jeffrey couldn't stop talking about him. She told fans, quote, Back in 2019, Jeffrey started talking a lot more crap about James Charles than usual. It seemed that doing so had become his biggest obsession. It started with him telling me right before filming our collab together for James Charles's channel that James Charles actually didn't want me there, that he had wanted Nikki tutorials instead. But Jeffrey said he'd had my back. And this is where Shane got involved. Jeffrey had connected Shane and Tati because Shane wanted to come over and play with makeup as research for their upcoming series, The Beautiful World of Jeffree Star. And Tati agreed. After spending the day getting to know each other and opening up about very personal things, Shane mentioned that they wanted Tati to play a role in the upcoming series. However, Shane stated that the whole thing was rapidly changing because of James. Shane told Tati that, quote, James Charles was a monster with many victims. But it didn't stop there. Tati explained, quote, over the course of the next few weeks, he and Jeffrey fed me so much new information that I felt sick. Almost every day, there was more information and new allegations. Eventually, I started believing what they were saying because they said they had evidence. She was struggling with the decision to film this video, and the night before she had planned to do it, Jeffrey sent her the voice memo, the one he mentioned on the Mom's Basement podcast. The one Blair White brought up in her video attempting to expose Jeffree Star. It's a voice memo of one of James's alleged victims, and when Jeffree shared it, he told her to listen to the quote, pain in the person's voice. Tati told her fans, quote, the audio was clearly a small portion of a larger conversation. It wasn't enough for me to contact the authorities, it was enough to scare me. Oh my gosh. At this point, Tati said that she was, quote, beyond gaslit. Jeffrey and Shane told her that if she were to make the video, victims of James would come forward. The two were so involved that Shane even offered to edit and title the video for her. She said, quote, I did not make my video because of vitamins. I made it as a result of all the poisonous lies that were fed to me by Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. The video dropped, the internet blew up, but no one came forward. The last time that she spoke to Jeffrey and Shane was right before Jeffrey released his video, never doing this again. Shortly after, the relationship dissolved, and Tati was left confused. As the months went on, Tati decided to relocate to a home closer to her family outside of LA because she began to fear for her safety. She said, quote, I was tormented with subtweets and innuendo that was a huge drama around the corner. I felt that I was a liability to Shane and Jeffrey and that I knew too much. So I put all of my text messages and other files on a hard drive and told a few people that I was afraid for my life and had given everything to my lawyers. I was hoping that information would leak as I thought it might keep me safe. So in October, Tati filmed a ton of videos in her house and then moved. She also warned anyone who would try to come to her defense because allegedly, Jeffrey has a lot of quote, blackmail material and quote, he's gonna go off. She claims that he is holding people quote, hostage with veiled threats of exposure and that if this comes to light, be prepared to forgive and not cancel. But what about James? Where was he in all of this? Well, in December, after Shane and Jeffrey's series ended, the two reconciled after having a meeting at her home where they compared DMs, texts, and stories about what happened behind the scenes. She said, quote, we apologized to each other, forgave each other, and agreed to wait patiently until it was safe for me to share my story. In fact, James even wanted to be next to her in the video, but she felt it was important that she do it alone. <sighs> this, is, this is a lot. 
A lot for a Wednesday. So why take down James? As I mentioned before, Tati believes that Jeffrey and Shane were jealous of James's popularity, but it went a bit further than that. You see, Jeffrey is allegedly part owner of Morphe Cosmetics, the makeup brand that sold Jeffrey and James's palette. James had a relaunch of his own very popular palette around the time that they had planned on launching theirs. So according to Tati, quote, Jeffrey and Shane needed James marginalized and out of the way for their November launch of the Conspiracy palette, along with Shane's merch. Which is so interesting because if you remember, didn't James release it a little early because of this? I feel like that was like a whole thing last year. Okay, now I'm just talking to myself. And now Tati is threatening to take Jeffrey and Shane to court for defamation. She claims to have many receipts confirming her statements, but since she has lawyers involved, she cannot show them yet. But she did warn anyone with information on this situation to be careful of their allegiance because if she decides to move forward with the suit, they will be disposing all witnesses who have information about the truth of what happened. Whew, this is literally a movie. Since the video was released, Jeffrey has been suspiciously quiet about the whole situation. I've been looking at his Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, everything. Not a peep. James tweeted a simple quote, love you guys, with hearts, and Shane, well, Shane is losing his mind. No, really, in a now deleted tweet, he wrote quote, this is a lie and I'm losing my mind. In fact, in what some may argue was a poor PR move, Shane went live for a short period of time while watching the video and he was anything but calm about it. He shouted things at the TV like, quote, you are so manipulative and quote, you are fake crying. That is not real. In the video, Rylan, Shane's fiance, can be heard telling Shane to get off of the live. After the live ended, Shane quickly deleted it and Rylan later came to Shane's defense on Twitter, writing that the video was a masterclass in manipulation and that Tati was only trying to save her reputation by siding with the person she tried to ruin. He also claims that she quote, riled up Shane before releasing the video so that she could have quote, one of the biggest creators backing her. He wrote quote, Shane very well would have posted a video exposing James had he felt so inclined. No receipts because she didn't want to expose the countless times she told Shane that she was a big girl doing this only for herself. The last thing he tweeted was quote, hope you enjoyed these sold out vitamins that made you millions in minutes from Shane's support, you two-faced liar. <sighs> wow. And now we want to know what you think. Do you believe this bombshell that Tati dropped? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to the Awesomeness TV Daily Report channel and make sure to check us out at Awesomeness TV on Instagram for more. I'm Kelsey Banus, and I feel like this is just the start. I feel like we're gonna have a lot more from here. I feel like Jeffrey's gonna put something out. Oh my gosh. Get ready.